Normal Heights, what's good? It's your buddies, Jesse Abanez. I'm Jeremy. Yeah, it's still yeah. Jeremy. Uh -huh. uh, your buddy's down here at the local greenhouse group yeah. on the corner of Adams and 36. We promised you a update as we try to do on the regular every month, hence the postcard that hopefully hit that got yeah. you here. Update's kind of boring. Like sure. if you hit us in the last couple months, it's basically reading about the same. Big picture is, you know, we still got a summer market. Things yep. are still moving. You know, price is still going up. It's just that it's muted in the sense that it's it's a it's running at about a 40 to 50 yeah. percent of average in terms of overall transaction. Now, if you zoom in on that, it actually is looking and behaving yep. much like a normal summer right. market. You got buyers excitedly trying to cram yep. something in before fall, and you got sellers that are trickling up on their appreciation, yep. their home's worth more tomorrow than it was yesterday type thing. Just about 50% of normal. Less transactions. Why? Because a lot of sellers aren't selling, which means a lot of people aren't buying their second homes, giving room for those first-time home buyers. And that's what we're seeing the most of, first-time home yep. buyers yep. right now. And the first-time home buyers, um, there's an old adage, like the first thing you ever do is just get a pre-approval, right? Everybody knows that. But there's actually something I think you should do before that, and that's do a budget. How fun is that? But, <laughs> yeah, good. Actually, it's probably more like this. Do it. I just wanted to use the button. I love it. Yeah. So anyway, when I say do a budget, you don't have to do all the stuff, but know how much you spend on a monthly basis, mm. uh, both on an average, at a peak, at a lowest, so that you can actually define that number that you're willing to scratch a check for on a monthly basis. This is a huge challenge for a lot of people, and it's worth spending the time to do because then you can go into that pre-approval process with your ceiling set. And that is so important for affordability. And you know, I, I always say like you're buying your first home or your last home. Home, hmm. Right. And if you don't get in an affordable price, it might be the last home you ever buy. How well the first one goes is directly proportional to how well they all go. Are you trying to do a better phrase than I did? I don't think it's possible to one up yeah. you ever yeah. in yeah. life okay. because budget is a four letter word spatted to you in a foreign language. Right. It's intolerable and most people don't bother to do it. But I think it's a really critical piece. Budget. Actually, I'll play on that. So yeah. beautiful segue to the seller side of stuff. Gang, can we please stop homeowners? PSA. <laughs> Just stop paying Home Depots and Lowe's gigantic leases for their warehouses every single month and doing these lovingly dumb yeah. upgrades that you think are going to move the needle that are just going to end up exhausting your precious resources in advance, not going to sell your home for more, and then you're going to get doubled up with it not moving the product faster because it wasn't um, what the buyer right. wanted in the first damn place. Right. Okay. So, dude, I created a report. I you love it. I actually yeah. made a PDF. Yeah. It's downloadable. <laughs> and and I built it on the shoulder so that the the, the Renovation Mafia releases their annualized mm -hmm. numbers of mm -hmm. what's working, what's not. The California Association of Realtors did the same. I smashed them up all together, yeah. and I got a little report. It's the report that you have to do if you're thinking in earnest about selling. Right. Your best bet is to talk to an agent who really knows this stuff. But yeah. if you want to try to work autonomously and do this and stuff, just follow this list, please. Yeah. And by the way, I buried in there also the three dumbest things that are guaranteed to make uh. you not have a return. It's like the definitive raise edge of sunk costs and I got those in there too so free report I'll coming bet you at I you. did all three of those on my home well what's interesting is on the inside number yeah. one this year yeah replace the flooring I love that and or, or redo your hardwood floors yeah. I know you're a big fan of carpet so that's gonna hurt right for shag you. specific older the better uh-huh right actually you know what the number one was for um exterior new roof garage door Really? Yeah. Curb appeal is undefeated. Everybody knows that. Yeah. Curb appeal. You yeah, don't win them at the sense. street. You got no shot in the inside. But garage door. Yeah. Biggest ROI. Kind of easy. Hey, gang. And by the way, if there is a market that's specific to you that you want us to run numbers on, we're happy to do that. Yeah. Customized. We appreciate you checking out. We'll see you back here next month.